calendars have been a part of the human culture from the prehistoric era. There have been different types of calendars from archaic times. Calendars were formed for timekeeping as well as for keeping a track of seasons. The ancient Roman calendar, the Mayan calendar, the Greek calendar and also the Hindu calendar were closely related to the astronomical observations. Are you familiar with the ancient Indian calendar, the Hindu Panchang? Have you ever tried to wonder about the meaning of the months in the ancient Indian calendar? In the next few minutes, we are going to explore certain facets and the working of the Hindu calendar. The ancient Indian calendar was of two types, the Amavasyanta calendar and the Purnimanta calendar. As the name suggests, the month in an Amavasyanta calendar was measured between two successive Amavasyas while in the Purnimanta system, it was measured between two successive Purnimas. Amavasya comes from the root words Ama which means with and Vasa which means to live. At the time of Amavasya, the moon and the sun have zero east-west distance between them and they appear together in the sky and hence the name Amavas. Purnima comes from the word Purnamasi where Masi means the moon and hence Purnamasi means full moon. On Purnima, the sun and the moon are separated by an east-west distance of 180 degrees. Today we use the Amavasyanta system predominantly. So let's try to understand the system. In an Amavasyanta system, a month starts with an Amavasya and ends with an Amavasya. A month in this calendar system has a total of 30 tithis or lunar days. To know more about tithi, see our video on the concept of tithis. So, out of these 30 tithis, 15 tithis are in Shukla Paksha or the waxing fortnight while the remaining 15 are in the Krishna Paksha or the waning fortnight. Such a mass or month is called a Yutikali in Chandramas or the synodic month in modern astronomy. The names of the months of the Hindu calendar are based on the position of the full moon occurring in that month. Since a month is measured between two successive Amavasyas or new moons, there is only a single Purnima or full moon between them. This full moon is significant for naming that month. The names of the Hindu calendar month correspond to the nakshatras. So to know more about the nakshatras, check out our video on the tale of 27 wives of the moon. To put it simply, nakshatras are the stars that are present in the background of the moon every night. And this background changes every night as the moon moves from west to the east in the sky over a period of 27.3 days. As the moon is passing through the 27 nakshatras while revolving around the earth, it is also undergoing its waxing and waning phases. Every night shows a different nakshatra and a different phase of the moon. Thus the nakshatra in which there is a full moon of that month is used for naming the entire month. For example, the month in which the full moon occurs in Ashwini nakshatra is named as Ashwin. The month in which the full moon occurs in Krutika nakshatra is called Kartikeya. The month in which the full moon occurs in Chitra nakshatra is called as Chaitra. So by knowing the name of the month in the Amavasyanta system, you can easily correspond to the name of the nakshatra which has the full moon. So you might be wondering why is Chaitra mass given the first position in the sequence? The answer to this lies in the position of the sun during that month. Since the Hindu calendar was a lunisolar calendar, the sun's motion was also considered along with the moon. When the sun enters the nakshatra Ashwini, it is said to be a Mesha Sankranti or the Aries transit. Chaitra nakshatra or the Chitra nakshatra is situated at 180 degrees or exactly opposite from the starting point of Ashwini nakshatra and hence the full moon of that month will be in Chitra. The starting point of Ashwini nakshatra which is also known as the first point of Aries is treated as the starting point of the calendar because the vernal equinox or the Vasanta Sampad Bindu was once situated at that point. Therefore, the period during which the Chitra nakshatra rises to the east at the sunset is called the month of Chaitra and it is considered to be the first month. The month of the Hindu calendar system is 29.5 Divasa or solar days. It is important to note that a Divasa is measured from sunrise to sunrise and it is different from a Tithi or a lunar day. A Divasa is longer than a Tithi. 
Thus the year or varsha of the Hindu calendar is of 354 days while the solar year consists of 365.254 days. The Hindu calendar year is shorter than the solar year by 11 days. This excess of 11 days causes misalignment between the calendar year and the seasons and results in the occurrence of the lunar festivals 11 days earlier. For example, Diwali occurred on the 14th of November in the year 2020. So in 2021 it will occur 11 days earlier that is on the 3rd of November if we continue the same chronology then in the year 2031 Deepavali will commence on the 25th July and the alignment of festivals with the seasons will be disrupted thus ancient indian astronomers came up with an innovative idea to keep the lunar festivals in alignment with the seasons they added a month to a specific lunar year after a certain period of time This month is called the Adhik Mas. A solar year consists of 365.256 days. The average duration of a solar month consists of 365.256 divided by 12, which is 30.43 days. Thus the lunar month is 0.908 days shorter than the solar month. Thus the number of solar months covered in 29.53 days is equal to 32.522. solar months that is approximately 2.71 solar years hence an adhik mas is added after every 32.5 solar months approximately this addition corrects the under corrected hindu calendar but now there are some additional days in the hindu calendar due to the addition of the adhik mas which makes the calendar over corrected after a long period to remove this over correction there is another concept called akshay mas akshay mas is a month that is removed from the calendar to account for the extra days that were included in the calendar however there is no cyclical period for akshay mas in the 21st century the ancient indian calendar was finally modified to form the indian national calendar senior indian astrophysicist meghnath saha was the head of the calendar reform committee under the aegis of council of scientific and industrial research its usage started officially at one chaitra 1879 shaka era or 22nd of march 1957 it is used alongside the gregorian calendar by the gazette of india in news broadcast by all india radio and in calendars and communications issued by the government of india kya aapko ye pata tha ki indian national calendar ke dates aap banks ke checks par bhi dal sakte hain कैसे पता होगा हमारा एजुकेशन सिस्टम हमें सिर्फ ग्रेगोरियन कैलेंडर सिखाता है और ना कि इंडियन नेशनल कैलेंडर या हिंदू पंचांग आज के जमाने में ग्रेगोरियन कैलेंडर इस्तेमाल करना जरूरी है फॉरेन ट्रेड एजुकेशन सिस्टम्स और टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट्स ग्रेगोरियन कैलेंडर के डेट्स पर ही निर्भर है पर क्या हम ग्रेगोरियन कैलेंडर सीखने के साथ ही हमारा कैलेंडर नहीं सीख सकते अगर हमारा कैलेंडर हम खुद ही नहीं सीखेंगे तो कुछ ही सालों में वो इतिहास बन जाएगा हिंदू कैलेंडर इज कम्प्लीटली एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट हमारा कैलेंडर दिखाता है हमारी संस्कृति और हमारे त्योहार तो क्यों ना हम आज से शुरुआत करें हमारे कैलेंडर को सीखने की और सिखाने की स्टे ट्यून्ड स्टे एजुकेटेड एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट नो योर कल्चर फ्रॉम अ फैक्चुअल परस्पेक्टिव शुभ हस्ते पंथान संतु जय हिंद जय भारत ते दा दा ते दा